Pleasure to see you again. Uh, this time I've now seen the movie, so I want to say congratulations. Thank you. Um, their, their relationship is so unique and cool and different. Um, when you were researching and when you were discovering everything, uh, what really struck you about their relationship? Like, what really impressed you? Um, just how kind of pragmatic and open-minded and open-hearted it was. And I think that comes from the very solid foundation of this kind of clarity of sight that they had for one another from very early on. Um, and so when approaching the kind of unforeseen trajectory of their relationship, they were able to, I don't know, be much more understanding and like I said, pragmatic about it rather than trying to, as we do so frequently now, trying to find a relationship and put it in a kind of category or a la under a label. Whereas with this, they kind of let it be what it is, and I think we could learn a lot from that. Yeah, and it also was so ahead of the curve. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I keep using the word modern to relate to that relationship, but it's a shame that you actually have to say that in 2018. Um, I, I speak to a lot of actors, and they say they cannot watch them. Like, they attend a world premiere, and they, they start the movie, and they say hi, and then they are like in a pub because they cannot watch themselves on right. screen. Is that you? No, I mean, the watching myself is the one way, I mean, the only way that... I can really thoroughly like learn from what I do. Frequently my face doesn't do quite what I thought it was doing. Um, so it's always a good education. But also with this kind of film where it was such a huge collaboration with all of the cast and crew and such a great energy on set every day, it really feels like a family piece. Uh, so it'll be good to celebrate with everyone and see everyone's work come to life. Uh, yeah, I'm sure it was a hard sell when they said, oh, the world premiere is gonna be at Wembley Stadium. Yeah, I was like, mm, do I wanna go to that or a pub? I'll take Wembley. Right. Uh, the thing about Queen is that no matter what songs were included in the movie, there's going to be like 20 that are still amazing that weren't included. Yes. So what was the song that you were disappointed didn't make the cut? Ooh. If one. Um, I don't know. I guess. I'll put you on the spot. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think. Because now the one I was going to say is I believe the credit song. No, I think the actual the main joy was hearing songs in it that I wasn't previously aware of, as uh, shameful as that is to admit. Sure. Um, so that's a kind of exciting thing that they've taken the place of the ones that uh, I know how to sing along to. The Live Aid stuff in the movie is spectacular. Um, and it has this amazing energy and you can, I, I would imagine at the premiere on Tuesday, like the crowd is going to sing along. It's so good. Um, what was it like being part of that sequence and how challenging was it to shoot? Uh, definitely challenging for the guys. Pretty much, I mean, the easiest thing for me, all of those reactions are entirely authentic. It was my first day on set. It was actually bookended the experience for me. It was my first day on set and the very last when we went back for reshoots. And um, I mean, it was just shocking seeing them have recreate every moment, beat for beat, every turn of the head or nod to one another. Uh, so that was just such an electric energy. And then to have, to actually witness the crowd that we have respond in that way, calling the calling back and the kind of the clapping and stomping along was incredible. So hopefully that'll be a similar at Wembley. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that it's going to be like that because that would be amazing. Yeah. Uh, I'm always, this movie is one of those rare films where if it had been five hours, I would have been happy mm -hmm. um, because there's just so much of the story. So I am curious, were there any deleted scenes that you remember and what can you share? Um, there are a lot of scenes that were longer than they are now in the film. You get, we had more of Freddie and Mary in the apartment and stuff kind of building up to when he introduces the band name Queen. You had actually the explanation of, of the emblem, ah. um, which was fun. But, uh, but no, the timing and kind of pace of how it is works so well now that you can't miss them. Uh, the, you get to wear some cool outfits. Hell yes. What did you borrow from set that you might return at some point? I'm still trying to borrow my entire wardrobe, uh, but the one piece that I covet more than anything is that purple coat that you first see Mary in. Which I think is the one piece I absolutely can't have, but we'll see if I can borrow. I was. It. Gonna, that's one of those things where you just complain you're not feeling good while you're wearing it yes. on set. And just run home. Yes, exactly. You, I don't know where it's it went. Like, what purple coat? Purple coat. Mm -mm. Exactly. It doesn't ring a bell. Exactly. Exactly. Um, if I'm not mistaken, you might be on Ryan Murphy's new show. Yes. So what can you tease about this thing? Because I looked at the cast and it's pretty good. 
It's pretty great. Yeah. Um, it's called The Politician. Uh, it'll come out next year, and I'm too afraid of and in awe of the Ryan Murphy empire to tell you anything. Um, I heard political comedy. Yes, yes, yes I did very hear that. much. It is dark and it is funny, um, and the, it's very topical. The subjects that it deals with are a relief that we're talking about them in such a way. Uh, Ryan is a major power player in Hollywood. Mm. He has been known to create some really good content. Uh, yes. What was it like meeting him for the first time? Terrifying. Um, <laughs> yeah, like, you, please put me in. Yeah, I don't know what, I didn't know what to expect. It's kind of like meeting the Wizard of Oz. Yeah. Um, and then you realize he's just really nice, very kind of very, very present with you and very funny, sassy. So it's, yeah, he's an incredible human being. Um, on that note, congratulations. Thank Pleasure you. to see you again. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Yeah, good